Hi, this is Kim of BuyHealthPLR.com and I want to show you a couple things that might stump you um, when using your WordPress opt-in page. It's very easy, you just have to copy and paste, um, but I'm going to show you a few things that you may run into and how to easily fix them, okay? So first of all, if you bought my Sleep PLR pack, um, you'd want to go in there, open up um, your opt-in page here. Um, so this will apply to any any WordPress opt-in pages you may get from myself or other people. So just head on here. It's in text version. All we're going to do here is we're going to just um, select all of that, copy it, okay? And then we're going to head on into a WordPress um, website. So I've got one of my WordPress websites open here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a new page, okay? So we're going to do it as a page. So we're going to add new. And what you want to do is you're going to want to put this into the text version. Don't put it into the visual because if you put it into the visual, when you preview it, all you're going to see is a bunch of HTML. So you got to make sure you go into the text part. And now this is where you paste it, okay? And we're going to just save the draft, all right? And I should have saved it. I should have called it. We'll just call it test opt-in. Oh, it was saving. It gave it its own name anyway. Test opt-in page. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to save that. And now let's just preview it and see what it looks like, okay? Oh, just saving, we'll just wait for that to happen. It's slow right now. Let's take a look, let's preview it. All right, so it turned out good. And the reason for this is because, and one thing I'd wanna do is just fix, like I have to add my, my image yet in here. Um, but I also want to fix this uh, so there isn't all this space in there, but that would be the last thing to do, and that's very easy to do. Um, but you'll notice it, it shows up on the whole page, which is what you want. Okay, I'm going to go back now. And part of it is my default layout setting is the wide page. However, if you have your default as a narrower one, um, you may find... Um, that it may look like this. I'm going to show you on another website of mine. If I insert this on another website, what it looks like. See, now I've gone into my other website, buyhealthplr.com. And again, I've created a new page, put it into the text part. Um, let's see what it looks like here. We're going to preview it. And as you can see, it's doesn't work here because we've got this um, sidebar here. All right, so it's an easy fix. So the reason for this is because I have my layout set. This is my layout where I have a sidebar on there. So what we need to do then, if we're on this side, is I'd have to go back in, go down here and change it to my layout. Right now I have it, this is the layout setting. I wanna change it to the wide setting. Let's just make sure that it worked when I clicked on there. Okay, now let's, I'm going to save it here, and then we're going to preview it again, okay? So now that it's saved, let's preview it. And ta-da, you have the full page here, okay? Um, so no more sidebar. So that's how easy that was to fix. Now I'm going to show you how you add in your image here, okay? Because you want an image of the book, because otherwise all this text is really boring and less enticing to somebody. So let's show you how you do that. So the first thing I would do is I would look at my visual here. It gives you an idea where you're going to have to put the book. So I would put the book here. Um, so I might actually go like this. You can either work in your visual or your uh, text part. You might find it easier just to uh, work in the visual at this point. So I'd go into my media. I have already uploaded the file for the book, so I'm going to use it because it's already here. Um, okay, so here's the book. If you didn't have this already uploaded, which you won't, what you would do is go into your Upload Files folder right here, select a file, and then you would go into the uh, PLR that you have purchased, and um, 
and find that file for that book here I'll actually I'll find it for you here I'll show you how okay so when you're in the media section of your WordPress you just hit select files I'm gonna go into my PLR that I purchased um, it is under ebook covers and that's where it is so this is what I uploaded actually was one of these okay you can pick whatever one you want this one that one whichever one you want so anyway that's how it got there so let's just go into here because I already have it there so we're gonna just click on that and we're gonna insert it into the page now expect it's gonna be huge um, but we can adjust that once we have that in there Oh, it wasn't as huge as I thought it was going to be. Sometimes it depends and you have to adjust the size a little bit here. You can play with the edges of it. Anyway, this is perfect size. I'm not going to touch it. So there we go. We've got the book. Um, and then as I mentioned, um, what you'll want to do is you're going to want to add your autoresponder code in here. So this is if you're using AWeber, GetResponse, uh, MailChimp, whatever you use, you want, what I would do actually is I would go into those, um, into those uh, those sites create a box um, so that people can sign up basically saying get your free uh, book here by and they have to enter their email address you could enter that code right here um, to enter the code again you would go into the back here of the text find that specific area where it talks about adding your autoresponder code you can find that you just have to look for it it's in here somewhere here right here um, and so you could delete this and add in the autoresponder code that you get um, with GetResponser AWeber when you create an opt-in uh, form or an opt-in box I guess they call it enter it in here and then go back and you should see it and if you need to center it you just use your centers as usual as for this if you need to adjust this uh, bottom uh, box so that it's you know you don't have all the space again that's very simple all you do you would do that last but it's in the borders here so play around with the height so if you want less so right now we have 2840 let's go down to maybe 2600 let's try I think that's gonna make quite a huge difference I actually think it's gonna to be too much but I'll just it'll show you what I'm talking about so let's just go I am gonna just save it here um, and then I will look at the visual again here and see what that looks like all right, so now we would hit preview, okay, and we'll take you to the page. Um, and as I suspected, 2600 wasn't enough, so you can see it's over there. So you're gonna, you just have to play with the numbers a little bit. Um, so it has to be between what that starting number was. I think what was it, 2800, 2800, and now I just did it at 26. So we, it's probably in the 2700 somewhere. So anyway, it's just a little bit of playing around with that height to get it looking um, look, looking much better. So that's easy to fix. It's an easy fix. I'm just going to show, I'm just going to backtrack for a second. When I mentioned about putting in your autoresponder code, um, that's the way you're going to collect um, the leads and the email addresses and also how you're going to deliver or how you can deliver the product. I mean, there's different ways to deliver it, but this is one of them. And I use GetResponse. I mean, there are other things, but if I was in GetResponse, what I would do here is I would create a form once I'm logged in. And it's an opt-in form here. And so this is, you've seen this, you know what they look like. For example, like this here, right? Um, you even have some free course sign up. And you can change it. You can click on that, use the template, and then you can make it even more, um, specific of course you would have to you have to adapt it to yours so you have to this is just the templates okay so that's how you do that and then it gives you the code once you've designed it it gives you the code and that's the code that you take back and insert where it says insert your autoresponder code okay so I hope that helps you if you have any questions just email me and um, and I will direct you okay thank you bye bye